I don't like spiders and snakes, and that ain't, there's an old song that goes like that, but uh, to be honest, I love spiders, snakes, everything to do with nature, and uh, I find that as years go by, I'm still learning so much, experiencing so much. I have filmed spider webs from Jamaica to the jungles of uh, uh, Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, into the United States, Canada, our uh, balcony spiders and uh, spiders in Dominican Republic. Our most viewed video is a tarantula on my hand that has more than 34 million views. But I've never seen how a spider weaves its web, its net. It's such an intricate thing. And you know, I used to wonder, how the heck do they do it? Like I say, sometimes it's over great distances between branches or whatever. And uh, last night, we're sitting out in the backyard. And sometimes you can get nature so close that it blows, blows me away. Uh, we've been filming birds and stuff in our backyard, bees. Now this spider, we're sitting there, and the spider is weaving its web. And uh, like I said, I've never seen it before. So quickly, got the cameras, and I say cameras because I use both the AX2000 and the AX53 4K camcorder making this video. I like the AX2000 because I can use a viewfinder and get in really close to it. And the AX53, uh, the 4K cam, for its unbelievable clarity and sharpness and zooming ability. This is the AX2000. You can see the spider weaving his net. Uh, you can see his hind legs working and the silk coming out of the back of him. Incredible. Such precision. Incredible the way it's weaving it together. In the background you have a bee coming in onto a flower. And in the foreground, where is he? There he is. Excuse me. Beautiful nature working in harmony. I've never seen that done before. It comes up from the back and then like it's two hind feet, it pokes it to the side, attaching it as it goes round and round. It's like the most incredible seamstress working. It, 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 unbelievable. Like I said, I was completely blown away. I'm watching this through a viewfinder and uh, to see the silk coming out from the back and it's two hind legs working in unison and front legs taking it around the web round and round it goes uh, I just absolutely love watching things like this and I'm not watching it on a television I'm watching it sitting in the backyard by our tree you know a lot of this stuff doesn't exist today in many parts of uh, our agricultural world because there's so much pesticides used you can have thousands of acres and there's not an insect to be seen on it. It's barren of any life. And then you go into your backyard and you're seeing this. You think of the billions of years of evolution it took for the spider to get to this stage. Then when it finished its net, it gets into the middle and now he's hunting. You know, he's got to get his food. And unlike, you know, the videos you see, the crazy videos on YouTube with people getting spiders and, you know, getting them to fight, uh, you know, uh, I don't know what else. You know, they're fighting spiders with wasps and uh, uh, praying mantis and whatever. The spider isn't in it, you know, for a life and death battle. It wants to catch small insects that it can consume. You know, the less damage it takes, the longer it can live. So it's not in this to have this... Uh, monumental battle it doesn't have a mortal enemy it's not like us humans you know that look to fight uh at the highest level it is about surviving and so i watched it for quite a while i have a lot of video of it sitting doing nothing but i kept waiting for something to happen and then once in a while it would go scooting off and these tiny little flies i mean You'd hardly be able to see him. It was capturing. By the way, this is filmed with the AX53, which is a 4K camcorder, and allows me to go a lot closer in resolution to the spider. And I can also use pan and crop in the editing to make it even closer. So there's this net that it had built. And like I say, it's very delicate. I've heard many times that 
spider silk is stronger than steel per size, many times stronger. And there it had actually just taken off. I didn't know why it took off because it was so quick and uh, whatever, but uh, it had caught a small insect in the web and is consuming it. And I have no idea how many insects it has to catch to keep uh, alive, but it's one of the ways that nature works and keeps everything in check and balance. These things have worked for billions of years. It's not until we humans come in and decide that, well, we're going to, you know, spray this field, you know, airplanes going to fly over spraying the pesticide and we're going to spray the herbicide and we're going to spray everything. And like I said, you know, first of all, you have uh, thousands of acres that are uh, devoid of life of any sort. And then what we do find out is that all of these pesticides actually aren't good for us and that we do eat them in our food. And then, you know, when they put out the chemical fertilizers that gets into the water and they get stuff like the algae blooms they just had in Florida and have it on so many of the Great Lakes and other places. It's, uh, this is my nature because, like I said, I talk. I love nature and uh, it can work in harmony. It does work in harmony until we interfere. And uh, I don't find spiders repulsive. I, I'm amazed by its uh you know little legs it's almost transparent you know i i'd like to know like it's obviously it's not skin or bone but what is it made of what's inside of it now of course i don't want to dissect one to find out but uh again this is how nature has evolved and uh it doesn't matter if you're looking at a spider or other things people find repulsive you know whether it's a frog or whatever they all serve a purpose. You know, frogs will be catching uh, mosquitoes and other larvae and insects in, you know, in the air around ponds, you know, keeping their population down so that you don't have uh, all these mosquitoes with diseases, whether it's Zika or West Nile or whatever. Like, we have to take a lot bigger active role in making sure that uh, we preserve our planet for generations to come. And we don't do that by wantonly going out and killing everything in sight. So, like I said, I'm really amazed by the things that we find in our backyard. I have two amazing videos that will be coming up in the next little while of birds, mother birds taking their young out uh, uh, feeding. One is of a woodpecker, the other is a golden uh, American golden finch, and how the birds are teaching their young about what to eat. Thank you.